Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you some Lush Valentine's Day goodies. This is an order I placed on January 5th and this makes it my 39th haul. So let me show you exactly how much I spent for this order. I spent £74.15. So I'm going to start off with this wonderfully smelling beauty. This is Giant Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. This is my second Giant Bath Bomb. The first one was a Giant Gonna Wander Bath Bomb from Christmas. And this is primarily a pink bath bomb with a bit of green thrown in to break it up. The bath bomb is decorated with roses in full bloom. And then you have the green petals. And this has the lovely rose jam scent that I really enjoy. To me, it smells like yummy jam with some roses thrown in. It has a sweet and rich fragrance that's in your face and, you know, hard to ignore, just like a woman. It has fine sea salt, Sicilian lemon oil, geranium oil, rose absolute, rose oil, and yellow rose petals inside. And I just love this bath bomb. This is good Valentine nut wrap, and I'm going to admit, I don't know why I got this. I saw it and I just thought, hey, I wanted it, so I got it. This is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters, or 19 and a half inches by 19 and a half inches. It is 100% organic cotton, and Lush didn't go the typical route of the red or pink colors. Instead, they decided to do orange and black, which reminds me of Halloween instead. And you also had these black hearts bordering the edges. This was designed by Art House uh, Meth. I think that's how you say it. I'm not really sure. It's spelled M-E-A-T-H. It's basically a group of artists living with complex epilepsy and learning disabilities. So this knot wrap can be used as a decorative accessory. Like, you can tie it around your purse strap or even frame it. And it can also be used as a scarf, a headband, um, a headscarf. And it was suggested on the North American website that this can be used as a tote as well. And also you can use it to wrap gifts like Lush does for some of their gift boxes. This knot wrap lists five things on how to be a good Valentine. The first one is call each other. Two is give each other a box of chocolates. Three is share a bottle of champagne. Four is enjoy romantic dinner with candles and heart balloons. And five, go for a walk down Lover's Lane and get all the kisses you can think of. So I got another one of these little guys before they went away so I can send one to my sister. This was an exclusive that came out for Christmas. He's so small and adorable and he smells like sweet vanilla with a bit of citrus thrown in. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter, soy milk powder, Radiant Gold Luster, Snowflake Luster, Vanilla Absolute, Sicilian Lemon Oil, Bergamot Oil, Corn Flour, Gardenia Extract, and Vegan Dark Chocolate. He is a really tiny bath bomb, so let me show you just how teeny he is compared to the Giant Rose Bombshell. So there he is, look how tiny he is, and look just how large this Giant Rose Bombshell is. This is Kiss Me Quick wash card. This is my third wash card, but I've never tried it before. And I don't know if I ever will. I feel like it's more of a collection thing at this point. But you know what? I really should try it out anyway, just so I can tell you guys what to expect. So this wash card is quite interesting and innovative. It's extremely light and travel efficient. This even acts as a shampoo if need be. It's super thin. And you would think that this would fall apart and disintegrate quite quickly. And I can't really say um, if it's durable or not because I haven't tried it. But from what I've seen, it does get pliable when wet. The great thing about the North American Lush website is a chat feature. So I spoke with Riley at customer service and asked her how many uses I can get from this wash card. And I was told that I can cut or rip it up. Um, so it lasts me for a couple uses and it was suggested that I cut the product in half if I was using it to wash my body. When I asked how long they last in a shower, I was told one to two showers. So that's kind of expensive if you think about it as compared to, I guess, like other shower gels. So that's um, what it's going to cost $3.50 in the States and £2 in the UK. 
but I honestly don't know for sure how long I can make it last unless I try this out myself. So I do want to show you something. This is the Kiss Me Quick wash guard from last year. It's obviously different. It's rectangular in shape and yellow. And it does have two hearts here and here. And it says Kiss Me Quick. And this is in the scent 29 High Street. And this one is obviously a pair of sexy red lips that looks like it's been injected with lip fillers but they both have um, the same ingredient in that it has fresh apple pulp but this one is different in that it has clove bud oil mimosa absolute and tonka absolute so it does have a spiciness to it from the clove bud oil but it's also sweet and alluring i like this bath bomb this is called tisty tosty and the original was discontinued, but I was happy to find out that Lush was bringing it back into the shops for Valentine's Day in mostly a pink version. It's a simple and elegant heart-shaped bath bomb that's mostly hot pink, but it does have white on the bottom. It has a strong powdery and rosy scent that really fills the air when it hits the water. I enjoy the rosebuds floating in the water. Some people don't like it because they find the roses slimy, but I don't mind it at all. This has Rose Absolute, Geranium Oil, Lemon Oil, Jasmine Absolute, Aurus Root Powder, and 7 Damascus Rosebuds. I liked it so much, I got a second Tisty Tosty. This is another heart-shaped product. This is called Heart of Enlightened Expectation Bubble Bar Melt. And this looks like a frosted orange sugar cookie, and it looks pretty good enough to eat. I imagine that if this was a real cookie, the gold luster dusting on the top would be cinnamon. This is part bubble bar and part bubble melt. The frosting-like top is the cocoa butter, so it's going to make your bath a bit more moisturizing as it melts. And the bottom part is the bubble bar. This reminded me of an open face of bubble rune, which got me thinking if it was the same thing. So once again, I chatted with Lush customer support and Kelsey told me, and I quote, they aren't the same, no. They do contain some of the same ingredients, but the inside of a bubble rune is that lovely shea of butter. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter, corn flour, bergamot oil, geranium oil, jasmine absolute, rose absolute, and ylang ylang oil. This shares the same scent as two hearts beating as one shower gel and bath melt. It's not a favorite of mine. It is definitely floral in scent, and I'm not big on scents that are predominantly floral, although rose is the exception. I wish I didn't end up ordering a second one. Since I was just talking about bubble runes, here is a bubble rune, and this is called A Whole Lot of Love. I think this is so pretty. I like how they turn the typical macaroon-looking bubble rune into this pretty heart shape. I like that it's red and that the shea butter sandwich in the middle is dusted in gold luster. It just gives it that added oomph. And really, red and gold just look so pretty together. So I approve of this look wholeheartedly. This shares the same scent as Fizz Banger Bath Bomb, which you can no longer get in the shops as it was discontinued last year. Um, this smells like apple pie, well, apple pie filling to me with a splash of citrus. On the Lush North American website, it says this has a sweet, tart take on a delicious caramel apple scent, but I don't smell the caramel in this. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter and shea butter. Murumuru Butter, Bergamot Oil, Jasmine Absolute, Lemongrass Oil, Rose Absolute, Ylang Ylang Absolute, Gardenia Extract, Oak Moss Extract, and Corn Flour. This is Melt My Heart Massage Bar. This is rectangular in shape and has the word loved carved into it in cursive. It's actually a pretty good sized bar. The dark stuff you see are dried rose petals which might become annoying as I imagine they will stick to your skin or it might just be a little bit scratchy. This has fair trade organic cocoa butter, fair trade shea butter, safflower oil, dried rose petals, orange root powder, cypress oil, orange flower absolute, olivinum resinoid, styrax resinoid, and violet leaf absolute. I'm not going to lie, I'm not a fan of the scent whatsoever. It's herbal, it's green, it's just something I'm not into. It does have a very subtle floral scent, probably coming from the violet, and it seems to enhance this herbal scent. I'm definitely not having any loving feelings for this massage bar, so sorry.
This is called Cherry-ish Body Scrub. I do enjoy body scrubs, so I was very happy that Lush came out with one for Valentine's Day. It's another heart-shaped product, and it has red cherries on the front. It's quite cute. On the Lush UK website, it says this genuinely smells like cherry bakewell. So being curious as to what the heck that is, I looked it up. And it's a cake with almond flavoring that you split in half and slather cherry jam in the middle. But I would say this smells deliciously sweet and of chocolate covered cherries. This has a ton of ingredients. It has fine sea salt, fair trade organic cocoa butter, murumuru butter, organic illipi butter, fair trade shea butter, ground cherry stones, dried cherries, vegan white chocolate, cocoa absolute, almond essential oil, extra virgin coconut oil, fresh apple pulp, and chocolate extract. This is a fairly large body scrub, but as soon as I touch it, it starts to melt, as you can see right on my pinky. So let's see how this lasts in the shower. And I did pick up another one, and that's it right there. But currently, you can't pick up um, any of this on the UK website because it's been sold out for the longest time. So here is a look at my fingers. You can see all the ground cherry stones. So they're pretty fine. The last item in the box is a Love Boat bath bomb. So the first thing that popped into my head when I saw what this bath bomb was named was that show from the 70s and 80s called The Love Boat. So right now that theme song from that show is running in the background of my head. So does anyone even know that show? On the Lush UK website it says, whether you're testing the waters of a new relationship or it's a bit rocky, why not push the boat out with a trip on the Love Boat? This is a colorful bath bomb. You have turquoise and hot pink on the outside and yellow on the bottom. So you're going to get a beautiful display of colors as it mixes together. And on top of that, this has shimmer too. So I'm also thinking that this might pair up very nicely with a yellow submarine bath bomb. You can't tell, but the bow of the ship is a pink heart, or it's supposed to be a pink heart. And the heart motif is carried to the hull of the boat. There are a smattering of red edible hearts that is just going to float away in the water. And you can also see these tiny hearts in the Kiss Lip Scrub that is also out again this year for Valentine's Day. And I'll show that to you in my next Lush haul. This has Sicilian lemon oil, organic sweet orange oil, and rose oil. And I am loving this one. I am so glad I picked up another one. It's just beautiful. It has a sweet candy-like citrus scent. To me, it's sisters through and through. I don't even detect the rose in this. My samples are all hand products. I got Salted Coconut Hand Scrub, Handy Guru Goo, Lemony Flutter, Love and Light, and Helping Hands. Here's one last look at Lush Haul number 39. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I still have two hauls to show you, so be on the lookout for that. I still have to show you the rest of the Valentine's Day products as well as the Mother's Day range. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Until then, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everyone.